So let's for now imagine that our organization successfully survived the organizational birth. And what is coming after the organization is born? Well, such an organization would like to grow. So in this video, we are going to talk about the first theory that is within the organizational growth, and it's going to be the institutional theory. So let's recap a little bit. So we already talked about organizational birth. So we survived this stage. Now we would like to grow or develop ourselves. So grow or develop ourselves. Now, there are very many strategies how we can try to grow and we have talked about some and we will talk about some in the future as well. We can try to specialize. We can try to, let's say, generalize. Then we can try uh, to um, uh, focus on the organizational culture and we, when we will have a great organizational culture we will grow fastly and so on and so on there is really a limitless list of these strategies that can help us to grow however what is necessary to point out is that all these are leading to one ultimate goal and that is the important point for us so all these we are doing because we would like to have a higher share of the resources or in other words the ultimate goal for us is to acquire more resources for from the environment so acquire more resources and we have talked about this in the very beginning when we have started to study the organizations they want to acquire as many resources as possible and under the resources you can understand several things you can for instance understand uh, uh, the supply side of the whole thing so that you would like to have a skilled labor and that is a resource or you can understand the cash as a resource so with this need that you would like to acquire more resources is that you would like to have a higher revenues with your company you can understand it that way now the question is why why we want to acquire more resources or in other words what are we gonna do with these resources so what are we going to do going to do with this with these well to give us the answer for this question we luckily have this our institutional theory of organizational growth so let's see it a theory that studies how organization can increase their ability and survive in a competitive environment by satisfying their stakeholders and now it starts to make a little sense so we would like to we would like to satisfy we would like to satisfy stakeholders stakeholders now just a little recap who are stakeholders well those are some actors who have a stake within our company so it can be our shareholders it can be our managers it can be our employees it can be the community where our organization is operating so organization has a lot of both internal and external stakeholders now we are acquiring these resources so that we can then use them to satisfy our stakeholders and thanks to the satisfaction of stakeholders and let me draw it this way thanks to the satisfaction of stakeholders the byproduct is going to occur so a by product and this byproduct is going to be the organizational growth so byproduct is uh, growth is growth and that is the idea of the institutional theory that uh, this organizational growth is a byproduct of satisfying the stakeholder goals and now it starts to make a lot of sense because imagine we have told that stakeholders are also our customers of course if we satisfy our customers the byproduct is going to be growth but we according to the institutional theory we shouldn't think about it the way that we want to grow no we should think about it that we want to satisfy the stakeholders or in other words we can try to satisfy our internal stakeholders such as our employees and when our employees will be satisfied we will grow and for that we need to use and acquire the resources from the environment so that was the absolute basics of the institutional theory of organizational growth 